This is the world's first train. The exposed carriages were connected by a rope to a steam engine house beside the track. Due to power limitations, a new engine house had to be established every kilometre. If any engine house malfunctioned during operation, the entire train had to stop. Ingenious engineers thought of placing the steam engine on the train itself, allowing it to run continuously. They added over 20 metal tubes to the steam engine, which were heated by burning coal. The heat evaporated water in the locomotive into steam, which drove pistons to turn the wheels. After improvements, the train's speed reached 46 km per hour, making it the fastest mode of transportation at that time. With advancements in aerodynamics, engineers discovered that square-shaped locomotives face significant air resistance during travel. They redesigned the locomotive into a streamlined shape, added deflectors to the wheels, and installed rubber plates between carriages to prevent air turbulence. Trains could reach speeds of 145 km per hour. However, as speeds increased, train safety became a concern. The car body tended to sway side to side, and even slight movements could cause derailments. To counteract this, engineers modified the wheels into a conical shape to balance the swaying. As train speed and safety improved, trains became more widespread. However, supplying power to the trains became a significant challenge. How was this problem solved? Engineers installed a pantograph on top of the train, which connected directly to overhead wires, transmitting electricity into the train. Due to the train's high speed, the contact point between the pantograph and the wire could easily wear out from friction. To address this, engineers staggered the wires, allowing the pantograph to wear evenly. In case of accidental damage where the pantograph could entangle with the wire and potentially break it, engineers designed an air barrier for the pantograph. If the pantograph was damaged, it could retract downward promptly, ensuring safety during travel. After over 200 years of continuous development, today's high-speed trains can exceed speeds of 300 km per hour, greatly enhancing travel efficiency. Follow my channel for more interesting content.